Okay. Så arbejdsløsheden skal være meget I think the most important thing to know about third year is yes, you are is a lot more work than second year. So you you will become more used to living in the library in the sense that it will become more nine to five and then evening sessions. So it's not you could go to the library for a few hours each week in terms of what you could do in second year. You kind of gotta be very consistent with your work, but again that doesn't mean you can't go out and have a social life. You just need to plan quite a lot. I think the one thing to really plan plan in is the dissertation. So I think our advice was to try and, in first term, set aside, I think it was one day a week, to try and really do the dissertation. So I think I put this Sunday, which is the most useful day for me, just to look at that work. I think that's the different thing in third year, in terms of organising your work, is that you don't just do the next essay coming up. You need to spend two or three days doing, well, I'd say two days doing the seminar prep, three days preparing for the next essay, then two days in the week or something preparing for the dissertation. If you've got to work on multiple essays at the same time, which isn't something you had to do in the second year, I'd say. I'd say the other thing is to do is try and all try and get a set timetable as well in terms of when you're organising things to do, so it doesn't come spread out because you don't want to leave these things to the last minute because they obviously it's third year, sixty percent, so it's more, it's far more important. Mm -hmm. and then how did you, you how did you survive third year? When you did it, and still. <laughs> Can't remember. Um, <laughs> I think um, well, what's always worked for me, always in my professional life and in my student life, was to actually say, like, treat it like a job. So I'm going to work nine to five, mm. or, or some variation on that, so that my evenings were almost always mine, and always had one day off at the weekend at least that was sacred, yeah. a sacred day to relax and unwind yeah. and do what I wanted to do because if your mind is not fresh, then you're not going to do your best work. Yeah, I think that's true. I think I know a lot of people that try to work so hard that they just blew themselves out of the water and they just couldn't concentrate. And I think having a break is really important in terms of your work. I think the other thing you've got to remember is that third year you're moving on to the future, so graduate jobs, you've got to set aside some time to do those applications. I think I want to pursue law and a law application minimum should take you six hours. So if you can, try and set aside a few hours a day each week to try and get an application done every one or two weeks because they will take up a lot of time and then you don't want to have that added stress of, at the end of the year, thinking, I don't have a job because I haven't done the applications. Mm. So it's really good to try and balance those, especially the first term is most crucial for the application windows for graduates because that's when it's open, September to Christmas. So you've got interviews afterwards, but it's really getting those applications down. I'd say the best advice for those applications is do a, apply for a place you don't really want to go to first just to get used to the application process and then you can really hone in on your skills to make a good application to the places you really want to go. Mm -hmm. That's the advice I've got anyway from graduate recruitment. Okay, yep, yeah, sounds fair to me, right? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> cool. But I think, I think that the pressure of like planning for the future, whether a job or, a, yeah. or further study, means it's even more important to get ahead of the dissertation. If you start to nail that in the summer, you find yourself with time yeah. in the autumn to do all of this, and then in the spring. Mm. So I think yeah. it's important to try and be ahead of the game. Yeah, I think it's really useful if you can be ahead of the game, but don't be worried if you're not. It's not yeah. the end of the world. Mm -hmm. You can work hard and make it back up. Because I, I actually came back three weeks before in the summer to mm -hmm. do my dissertation research, and then I'm switching, so I wasted essentially three weeks of my life. So it's okay when it doesn't work yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can work harder and Definitely. still succeed, I'd say. Yes. And maybe this is a good point to say that your personal tutor is a good place to go in your third year too. They're not only there to help you transition into university, they're also there to help you manage your time and to deal with all yeah. these conflicting pressures. So use your personal tutor or a member of staff who's happy to see you and who you get on with to talk about any issues that you might have in terms of balancing all of this. So yeah. you're not on your own with that stress. Yeah, I think that's really useful. And also your peers are very useful in terms of chatting about how they're dealing with the things mm -hmm. in terms of applications and stuff, so they're a really good source of advice as well. Yeah.